Hey everybody, I got a package in the mail. I won on Instagram. It was one of those things where you comment and follow and maybe share with your friends and I did that and I was chosen as a winner. They shipped me a box. So it's Moose Custom Art Supplies Fine Woodworking Creative Solutions Built in Texas. www moosecanvas.com so here we go I cut open the box and I'm gonna pull out and see what I have here OMG wow so it's a cradled wooden panel oval I love the shape so I'll know what size it is when I use it, which will follow up in this video with one of them. Okay, 12 by 18 oval. Wow. A round wooden cradle canvas. 22 inches. Look at that sucker. Oh my goodness. I think that's it. Let me double check. I don't know what I was getting, so there's more more canvases yay these are two round to so two 14 inch round panels wow oh, there's more i would have been happy with that for sure oh my goodness y'all Two more round panels, two 10 inch circles. This is like hitting the mother load. It's like Christmas in my studio. Oh look, oh, 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 oh. Eight inch, two eight inch. This, this, this has got to be all there is in here. It's gotta be. There's no way anything else could fit in here. I think that's it. Just some paper. What a treat. A 22 inch and a 12 by 18 oval. Two 14 inch. Two 10 inch and two 8 inch. Eight wooden cradled panels. What a beautiful gift this is. So stay tuned and you will see me using some of these for some artwork in this video and more to come. I can't wait. Thank you so much Moose Canvas for the fantastic prize from San Marcos, Texas. So I'll be back. So I'm doing an ocean pour. I put the Moose Canvas unveiling in the beginning of the video. So this is a 14 inch cradled wooden panel. I've taped off the back with frog tape. I put a coat of Liquitex Basics Gesso on it, let it dry thoroughly, sanded it so it's a little bit on the smooth side. Then I went over and brushed the edges and the surface with acrylics and let that dry for 24 hours or so so it's nice and secure and dry and no moisture. I'm really excited to do this. I'm going to do the ocean resin thing finally. I've been wanting to do it for quite a while. I mixed up about 11 or 12 ounces. I've got about an ounce or so and left of clear resin. I've mixed a little sand into about four ounce, three or four ounces of resin and that's got a little touch of Arteza peachy beige and caramel brown and a drop or two of rich gold pinata alcohol ink. I have uh, about a half an ounce to an ounce of white that is made with cast and craft, opaque white pigment, a few drops of that and a drop or so of the pinata white alcohol ink. This one is just about a half an ounce of white pinata ink with a little tiny drop of uh, Let's Resin Apple Green and a little tiny drop of Malachite Green. 
and a little tiny drop of the sky blue dispersion from counterculture and then I put just a little bit of glitter in it to give it a little bit of sparkle this next color is chaos resin dragon scale pigment paste I just basically had a tip of it on my popsicle craft stick and put it into this stirred it in to this resin and I added counterculture crystal ocean glitter which is really fine and sparkly and beautiful then I did a cup with let's resin blue and a touch of sapphire blue and that same glitter and then I have a dark blue that is black diamond midnight blue just a little bit of that pigment powder and then a little bit of the sapphire blue into that I don't think I added any glitter on this one so those are my colors and I've got some little shells waiting to go in and I have if I have enough resin I've got some scallop shells here that I want to do little mini pours of, of the ocean theme in there but we'll see how much resin I have I have a tendency to go overboard as to what I probably need I'm using counterculture medium viscosity artist resin I'll show you the jug after I get this laid out This is on a, actually on a Lazy Susan, so I could spin it if I needed to to go around the edges. I just thought that might make my life a little bit easier. So this is actual sand in the resin.
Okay, so I'm back the next day and voila, it's done. The two shells look really cool. These shells are probably about four inches. They, you know, they fit in the palm of your hand and this is just a great little piece to sit on a table or on a vanity or on a shelf or side table, wherever. They're really adorable. So they could put their rings in it, you know, put this in their bathroom, put their rings in it. So they turned out really cute. I've got more shells and uh, if I can find a link to where I got them, I'll post that in the video below. And then, so here's my first moose canvas panel. I've got, you know, a little fleck or two in the, the resin of um, probably a, a dust particle or two, but for the most part, it turned out really, really well. So I'm going to, I cleaned up my counterculture mats, the silicone mats, which I so love. And the, the key to is to have a really clean s surface to put your piece down on. And I'm just for safety precaution, I'm going to put it on a paper towel. And I wanted to show you the back and how I do it. But so there's resin that's dripped a little bit around the edges. And the easiest way for me to get the tape off is I take a low temperature heat, my heat tool that's like 300 degrees <clears throat> and just heat I did it with one hand there was no struggle you know, trying to uh, get the resin drops that are hard. Got a little piece of green tape right here. And the great thing about the next day is typically, you know, you want to keep your fingerprints off of it, but it's not quite, quite cured. So if you do put like a fingerprint, it's not sticky or tacky, it's hard. But if you were to get a fingerprint in it, you could uh, heat it and it pretty much goes away, but the edges have the resin on it as well. And you see the shells and some sand. I went back you know, at the end and put that little bit of sand that was at the bottom of the cup. And you see the shimmer in the water. So I'm pretty pleased with it. So this is a 14 inch moose canvas art panel with wood and it's got an MDF base so it's nice and sturdy um, solid and I really really like it so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please subscribe if you haven't already click on the bell in the bottom right for notifications when I post new videos share with your friends and ask them to subscribe if you will um, I'd like to keep on making videos and bringing them to you and it's not cheap. So thank you again to Moose Canvas for the fabulous prize package with all the wooden panels. I can't wait to do more projects. I've got that stack that I'm just dying to get to and um, I thought the 14 inch would be a good place to start. So. I'm really happy with this and I will see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.